up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fab some besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today we are taking a look at Barbie Cutie Reveal, Cozy Cute Tees Slumber Party Gift Set. But before we get into that, I was reading the comments and one of you was requesting a campsite. Um, well, about that. I can tell you right now, you are not gonna get Minitoy to sleep outside in a tent. Although we do have an easy video from 11 years ago. We made this one for camping or reading inside the house. There's a small campsite for photography. And this little A-frame house is my personal favorite from a Barbie vs. DIY glamping video, which we are going to use in today's backdrop. It has lights, a random tree trunk, and the side can lift up and we can use a little foam board board to hold it up. Let's make a campfire. We made this log by wrapping a paper tube with a printable, so I thought we could do something similar. I took a picture of a tree outside to get bark, then I take some recycled paper, cut it into strips, roll them around a pencil, securing the ends with glue, then roll the printable around it, trim off the excess, apply glue, then re-roll it, and push over the ends to make firewood. Let's take recycled paperboard. I cut a base for the campfire. I make a small hole in the center. I add a little hot glue for texture. Originally, I was going to use fairy lights to make the fire glow, but now I think I'm going to use this LED headlight I bought at the dollar store. It's a lot brighter. It takes three AAA batteries and the on off button is on the side. I cut a hole in the paperboard to fit the light and leave the on off button exposed. Paint everything around the light black. I took a picture of a rock. I had to flip it to fill the page so it looks a little weird. I use my computer to print it out. I make a few drops of hot glue on paper. When they've cooled, I peel them from the paper, cut a small piece of the printable, apply glue to the back, then place it over the drop of glue and fold it around the edges to make lightweight rocks. And I make my glue kind of lumpy to add a little dimension. Let's cover the top of the light with a thin layer of hot glue. I use a Sharpie and color it yellow. Let's cut a few pieces of clear plastic from packaging to look like flames, then color them with markers. Then I run my hot glue gun over it to start melting the plastic, making it curl just like we did when we made the water splash in our mermaid video. Looks like it's time to put our campfire together. I begin gluing the rocks around the edge, then add the firewood going over the light, but making sure to leave access to the on off button. Now we can glue in those flames, then let's add a little red glitter glue to finish our campfire. And when we turn it on, it glows. This setup looks super cute and cozy. Perfect for cozy cute tees. I bought this Barbie Cute Reveal Cozy Cute Tees Slumber Party gift set on Amazon for $49.99. It says we get two posable dolls and 35 plus surprises that we can see here. There is a color change feature and the box has a handle that if removed can be used as a fur stole or scarf. The packaging seems pretty simple. Let's just remove the dolls and the surprises are on the side. All of these were behind Brooklyn. Oh yeah, and their little pets or plushies were at the front of the box. They have tiny little sleeping bags that are removable and their heads can turn. We'll let them sleep inside of the little house and open the surprise bags. But are they really surprises if the outside of the box tells you what they are? We have a blue tray with those little Barbie indents. In the next bag, we have two cupcakes 
on white pearly plates, one's pink and one's purple. They can fit on the tray. In the next bag, we have face mask. Ooh, spa day. Then we get two plastic scrunchies that can open. And in the last bag, we find cute little animal house shoes for Brooklyn. It's like a panda, but it's a unicorn, a unipanda. They look just like her little pet or stuffed animal. I'm gonna say it's a stuffed animal. Speaking of stuffed animals, here is Brooklyn in her unipanda sleeping bag that has a printed image of an animal costume with an actual furry belly with a picture of a panda that doesn't have a unicorn horn, so this one's just a purple panda. But the doll is wearing a unipanda head, and we're going to remove it to reveal the doll. Here is Brooklyn with her freckles. She has a pink lip color, a thick painted shine on her lips, a twinkle in her eyes. She has long brown hair with lavender highlights. She has a center part. The hair feels pretty standard for a Barbie fashionista to me. The top of the sleeping bag is fuzzy. It's also fuzzy inside. The back is solid and there's a little Barbie tag at the bottom. The included doll comes wearing PJs. She wears a shirt with stars with a fuzzy star on the chest. The pattern continues all the way around and it Velcros in the back. She comes with fuzzy shorts with an elastic waistband. They also have little stars on them. She wears a solid purple bathing suit underneath. Here's the back of the bathing suit. This doll is articulated with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, hip, and knee. And she has flat feet. I love that we're getting pajamas. I love the fuzzy shorts, but I might find a different top later. And this Brooklyn doesn't have her usual body type. It looks more like a classic Barbie body. But the little house shoes are cute. And the face mask seems to work best when lying down. And just like the other cutie reveals, the animal head mask can be turned into a bed for her stuffed animal. Here's Malibu with a pink unicorn theme. Her sleeping bag also has a picture of a unicorn outfit with a fuzzy belly. The back of her sleeping bag is blue. Let's remove the unicorn head to reveal the doll. She has blonde, blue, and pink hair, and she's not pixelated. She has stars in her eyes, a large painted shine on her lip, which is another thing I could complain about, along with those sculpted bathing suits, but I won't because she's not pixelated. Sorry, other cozy QT dolls. She comes with a pink shirt with a fuzzy cloud sewn onto the front, blue fuzzy shorts, has the same articulation as Brooklyn, and has more surprises. In the first bag, we have pink unicorn house shoes to match her unicorn friend. I'm liking these house shoes. I think Mini Toy is going to borrow them. In the next bag, we find headbands, a unicorn for Malibu and panda ears for Brooklyn. We have three packages to go. And this one is a glitter pitcher and two purple glitter cups. The pitcher can be attached to the tray, but the cups cannot. We'll just place them on the side. Our second to last bag is popcorn. It's a lavender bowl filled with popcorn. The popcorn bowl can be attached to the tray, so I'll just place the cups on the other side. And in our last bag, we find a purple star comb with a sponge, a pink and lavender toothbrush, and a blue tube of toothpaste. I wanna try that fur handle out on the doll. Oh yeah, we're totally using that. I place a little ice on the sponge so we can do that whole color change thing. Hmm, maybe it's not cold enough. 
I'm just gonna use the ice. And there you go. She has some stars. And her lipstick gets darker. Here's Brooklyn's color change. She also has a star on her cheek and her lipstick changes as well. There's another star up there. The unicorn goes from having closed eyes to opened eyes. And so does the little panda unicorn or unipanda. Ice is cold. It's recommended that you use a sponge. Then we can just use warmth to change it back. Oops, nope, not yet. There we go. Personally, I could do without the color change on the faces, but that's just me. But I will most likely take all of their clothes and accessories and give them to a made to move doll anyway. So yeah. But before that happens, maybe we can give them a little treat. I have tan, brown, and white cardstock. I'm also using glue, a large hole punch, and possibly a little paint. I use the hole punch on white cardstock and punch out a few holes. Stack and glue several together until you get the desired height. Then I sand the edges to round them. Then I paint it white and fill in any cracks. I cut two strips of brown cardstock and two thinner strips. I glue the wider strips together. Actually, let's cut it in half and then glue them together. So we have a stack of four. Cut them into smaller squares. I doubled the other strips as well and cut them thinner. Now we're gonna glue them onto the larger one. Then brush it with Mod Podge. Cut strips of tan paper. Stack and glue three together. I put glue on top and then I'm just gonna tap it to add a little texture. I use a nail file to sand more of the paper into the glue. Then make little dots on top. I'm using a dotting tool and allow it to dry. While waiting, I lightly dry brush a little brown paint on the top of those white discs that we made earlier to make a toasted marshmallow. Cut the tan strip into squares so that we have graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallows. Take a cracker, place chocolate on top, followed by a marshmallow and another cracker to make miniature s'mores out of paper for the dolls while they sit around the campfire. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at the Barbie Cutie Reveal Cozy Cute Tees Slumber Party gift set, made a campfire, and some paper doll food. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!